Hello and welcome to Train to Success. Today we present you snippet reminders for anger management. Anger bothers us from time to time. Some have more, some less. Learning to manage it is vital. Let's learn more about anger. What is anger? It is an emotion, a feeling just like sadness, fear and happiness. It can be mild, for example, being irritated or grumpy, or can be highly intense. Anger may or may not have any connection or logic. When anger hits, the actual fact can get distorted and illogical reasoning takes effect. Mild forms are easier to manage. Intense forms can get out of hand fast. What causes anger? The inability to communicate your point of view or the inability to understand other person's point of view. Frustration that things are not working the way you want them to or the sudden feeling of being let down or feeling that you are not respected or even feeling that your dignity has been hurt. When you don't have words to express, you have anger coming up. Let's see the stages of anger. Stage 1. It starts. There is always a trigger. It starts with some information that shocks you. It may be an argument that builds up or can be a threat that we perceive or just a breakdown of normal communication. Magnification of a dislike for something can be one of the triggers as well. The greater the urge, the greater the eruption. How it happens? Stage 2 It builds. Physical signs starts building up. Rapid breathing. Heartbeat increases. Blood pressure increases. Muscles get tensed. Voice alters to a higher pitch. Eyes changes shape. Pupils start dilating. Eyebrows fall. Brain starts short-circuiting. Watch out and calm down as soon as you notice the physical signs. Stage 3. It blasts up. Your survival instinct kicks in. Fight or flee thought starts arising. Reaction starts forming to do or say. Your judgment reduces. Hate starts building up on situation, event or person. Reactive behavior pipes in. Physical reaction can be triggered and anger blasts up. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Stage 4. It passes. Body signals come back to normal. Awareness creeps in. You start reflecting on what's happened. Feeling of guilt arises and feeling of regret struts. You may even go in depression and your mind may start defending itself. But deep down, not so much. The best thing you can do is prevent such things from happening. Now let's talk about the most important aspect, how to control anger. There are many ways to control anger. Let's start with any one of them. The best way to control anger is to count to 10 when you see it build up. Then take a few deep breaths. Pause for a moment. Divert yourself with some other thought or thing. Delay or defer the decision or actions and think of an alternate solution or action. Do some exercise, it really helps. Stop justifying yourself or your actions. Say to yourself, let me think about this. Always take a moment to analyze, it helps. Ask yourself the following questions. 
what is actually happening? Separate out personalities and issues. Ask yourself, what is it I don't like? What is it I like? What do I want the other person to do? What do I want? Is my reaction out of proportion? Write down these questions on a piece of paper and then answer them. This will slow you down and help you think logically. Let's learn anger management through a story. You are at the airport and your flight gets delayed. One of the passenger gets really angry and the other one sits and keeps reading a book. What do you think is the difference between the two? The truth is in their thinking. The way you think is the way you act. Always think with a peaceful mind before reacting. Learn to smile. Things will change. You must have patience. Work on something else and distract yourself. If none of this works, then ask for help. You are the master, not your anger. Conquer. Don't fall into the pit. For more snippet reminders, please visit www.traintosuccess.in.